Hey, you found us. Extreme Genes, America's family history show at ExtremeGenes.com. It is Fisher here, your radio root sleuth. And it's time once again for a monthly visit with our good friends over at our sponsors at Ancestry.com to talk to Krista Cowan once again. And Krista, there's a lot of things to talk about today that we've got to cover, starting with this great new partnership you've got going with Facing History and Ourselves. Yeah, absolutely. So Facing History and Ourselves is this amazing organization that does really crucial work to help millions of students uh, use uh, history to understand the world around them to gain greater resilience and to better stand up to bigotry and hate. And we've partnered with them with our K through 12 program to provide them with access to additional resources so that they can continue to connect to that history. Well, when you consider that uh, you've reached out now to some, what, half million K through 12 kids to provide them uh, free access to ancestry records, that's a phenomenal thing to do. And when you consider how many people are still Holocaust deniers out there, this should help stem the tide with that in future generations. Absolutely. Ancestry has other partnerships with organizations like the United States Holocaust Memorial Museum and the Arlson Archives out of Germany, where we have access to those records specifically pertaining to victims of Nazi persecution. All of those are going to be made available through this new partnership uh, and into the hands of teachers across the country. And this is all part of your Ancestry Community Impact Program too, right? It is, this is actually kind of the launch of that program. And our aim is just to mobilize ancestry resources and products to build more connected and resilient communities through preserving at-risk history and empowering the next generation of history makers. And then we've got a lot of new databases out there. One in particular that deals with enslavement in, is it the Dutch West Indies? It is, yeah. So as part of the key initiative of this new Ancestry Community Impact Program, we are digitizing and preserving at-risk history. And so a unique record collection that came to our attention from the Danish uh, West Indies archives is about a very specific time in history that is at risk of being overlooked or forgotten. And that has to do with specifically those who were enslaved in the Dutch West Indies. So these uh, let's see, I think we've got four new databases, including census records, uh, records of enslavement, and records of what they were doing as occupations as they came out of enslavement. So uh, just a really incredible set of really rich historical records. They date from 1724 to 1916. 1916, so there's still slavery going on at that time there. Well, it wasn't that slavery was going on at the time. It's just that those who had been enslaved were still alive at the time and providing information about their experience in enslavement. And so to get to all of this, you can just go to ancestry.com forward slash black history. Correct. And you know, when you think about all this, the uh, education you're providing to the kids and all that, I mean, it really takes you back to that Emory University study. That's now what, like 16, 17 years ago right now. Yeah, I love that study so much. One of the key findings from that study was that children who know more about their family history are more resilient and they have greater self-esteem. And so even if it's something as simple as telling a story around the dinner table at night about how um, the, their grandparents met or um, what it was like for them to lose a job and have to move their family somewhere else to gain employment, simple stories like that greater resilience, more self-esteem in children. Well, I'm seeing that in my own grandkids. I have one granddaughter in particular who's already deep into the weeds in family history and she's eight years old and she loves hearing the stories and she really likes understanding the things that her people on all sides had to overcome. And it's made her a really a very special young lady because she's very strong in the things she has to overcome because she knows that she can do it because the people before her did it. So. Coming up here in just a couple of moments, Krista, we got a lot of uh, new releases and new features coming out on Ancestry.com that I'm really excited about, and uh, I know you're going to want to share. Will do. All right, we'll get to it. Coming up here in three minutes on Extreme Genes, America's Family History Show. <laughs> 